And we also have Bryce Wilson coming up next with communication. Hi guys, like she said, I'm Bryce Wilson and uh, my project was on communications. All right, so what is communications? So communication is the act of expressing how you feel to another person or a group of people like I'm doing at this very moment. Um, everyone's gonna have to communicate at one point in time. So the better you have the skill, the more it will help you in jobs and in future um, colleges and presentations like this. Um, for the BRBGS students, you will have to communicate to a group of people like this one day. So I hope that if y'all get anything out of it, y'all learn how to become better communicators. Why did I choose it? I chose this topic because um, I want to major in communications when I go to college. And in fact, I actually know I'm going to major in communications. And um, everyone's going to have to do it. Like I just said, you're going to have to communicate at one point in time in your life. And the better you are, and the better you are at this like task, the better you'll become in job interviews and in future in future problems in life. Um, yes. Um, how do we improve our communication skills? We, we improve our communication skills by practicing. Much like a sport, if you want to get better at something, you have to practice. You have to practice and continue, continuously, continuously practice. So um, like if that, how, you communicate, how you practice communication is by when you're at the house, you talk to your parents. Um, you practice presenting to your parents, your dog, your animals, um, your stuffed bears, you know, anything that you can communicate to that will give you confidence. You don't want to go communicate to people that's going to be like shooting you down you don't want to do that confidence is the main thing with communications to get better the more confident you are the better you'll become at communicating my internship was with liberty um flame sports network um mr bird was my um he was my mentor he is the head of the communications department at liberty um i actually got to do um the instant replay for a hockey game i also got to be the cameraman for one of the hockey games and it was very fun um when i think of communication i think of the person like the reporter or the announcer who's like speaking in front of everyone. But what I really learned from this internship was it's not just the, the, the announcer who is the communication, everything in the back from the instant replay work to the um, cameraman, they are communicating to each other, speaking through headsets, like letting them know where you have to be, like what they have to do. And they have to be on like a time. They have to be like that. You have to be ready. Um, and so the whole back, like the backstage is like the most important part. Without them, there would be no announcer that mattered or no reporter that mattered because there would be no cameraman to record them, no cameraman to hit like their face shot instead of their full body or anything like that. So that's what I really learned from this internship and I really enjoyed my time with Liberty. My community service project, um, I started up a morning announcements crew, um, crew at this school. We planned to air this morning, but we had some techn technical difficulties um, with um, the green screen and it wouldn't send. I actually still created a video without the green screen work and um, it wouldn't send to Dr. Sumner. So I couldn't put it out this morning, but we plan to air tomorrow. So I hope most of y'all are excited for that. Y'all are actually going to get a firsthand see of it the next slide. But um, this is my crew right here. And what we're planning to do is to show people that it can be fun to communicate. It can be fun to speak in front of your peers. And we also want to like make it a way where they can still get information out of what we're saying while having fun and to show people that it is fun to communicate. And that was our main goal with this. And these are only some of the members in it. We have many more, um, a couple more. So this uh, video right here, I'm gonna play it real quick. So this is week one.
have a lot of talent based on the individual that you want. And how do you feel about leaving the team in It's quite sad because we're all going off to college and this is my favorite sport of my life, but I mean, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, at 6 p.m. at the high school, there will be a spring sports meeting for the parents. Also, the music will be held on Friday, two shows on Saturday, and one show on Sunday. Oh, thank you. Um, so, really, we have to get my over our lines. We need to see run this, trying to do our exits and entrances, and deciding what to do like, by the end of the stage we need to be on, just so there's not a bunch of confusion. And then we just practice on the songs and just kind of. Alright, so what would you tell someone who is going to be it's going to be so much fun. It really is. So the costumes that we have are it seems kind of weird, but especially for little kids, it's really magical for them just because like for the enchanted objects we have these big looking costumes that like totally like try our figure and you know, really pretty and kind of like it's just more magical for them. Alright, so tell us what time and day is it you can Okay, so um on Friday we have a performance at one o'clock. And then Saturday we have one, we have a matinee at two, and then we have a mention performance at seven, and then on Sunday we also have a matinee at two. There's more in governors, our boys and girls track team. Uh, today on March 5th, we will have a spring sports uh, parents meeting. Today at 6 p.m. at the high school, the parent meeting for spring sports will happen. All right, so um, that would be week one. It would have aired today, but like I said, there were some te technical difficulties going, sending it to Dr. Sumner and airing. Um, I hope that was more intriguing than just listening to it on like when someone's just speaking to you and you're listening to it. Cause I'm gonna be honest, for me, I don't really pay attention to the announcements when it's just like that. Um, I do better when I can see like, and it's people that like go to school with me. When I can see that, it allows for me to get confident in myself and like know that like, I can do this too, and as well as it makes me more engaged and want to pay attention to the announcement. So I hope that that's what it did. Um, as well as creating videos like this, I also created highlight videos um, for some of the sports teams. Um, I created one for basketball. I created many for myself in football. And uh, <laughs> and <laughs> there were, um, so I did that as well. I also have that video, but I'm going to save that for the end. Um, for the end, I'll show that and go back through. But on to the next slide, the significance of my project. So um, the significance, like I've been talking about through this whole thing, um, people gain confidence in themselves and their communication skills. Um, that's the main, like the main thing I want to do throughout this project. And by um, creating that news crew and that morning announcements, I hope that they're getting more confident in their communication skills. They're feeling more confident to go out there and communicate to groups of people. Like they're in front of the whole school. Like when it's live like this, you have to. Um, you have to be ready. And so I hope that's what it did. And um, my quote that I found from my website, I found a good quote, and it says, communication is in a um, to a relationship is like oxygen to life. Without it, it dies. So like to a relationship, you have to communicate. To a person, to a friend, you have to communicate or else the friendship isn't the friendship. Um, to a group of people, if I wasn't speaking, I was just standing up here like this, it wouldn't be too much of a presentation. Um, so that's like, I really like this qu um, quote by Tony Gaskins right here. Um, so I just wanted to mention that as well. Um, what have I learned throughout this project? Um, I learned, like I said, in my internship slide, I learned that communication isn't just like what you see on the TV with like the announcer and the reporters. It's the backstage like people too, the people who are recording, the people who are um, doing the um, camera, doing the instant replay. They're all talking back there, letting them know, all right, be ready for this. We're gonna cut here in two, one, and then being ready. So it's also that, and when I really thought of communications and told myself I wanted to major in it, I didn't really know that. I was just, I was going to go up there. I was going to be a sports reporter one day. I, that all was included in it too, but I enjoyed it, and I wouldn't change my major for anything. Um, what would I have done differently? I definitely would have 
been more serious about my project throughout if I could go back and do that now. Um, I, I would have um, spent more time during, like doing my internship because I really enjoyed it. I only did 10 hours of my internship at Liberty and I would have liked to continue it more. Um, but like it sounded like Harry said, like communication wasn't it, like an issue at times. Like I would email and take some time to get back sometimes. And that's neither of us our faults. It's just like we were both busy schedules. He would email. I couldn't get back to him in time or I wouldn't see it in time. So um, I wish I could have gone back and like added more time into that internship because I really enjoyed it. And I probably would have learned a lot more about the communications, which I'm going into next year in that realm. So advice to future BRBGS students, take this seriously. Um, you're only going to get one chance to do the senior internship. Make sure you make a difference and go out there and do something that you're really going to enjoy and really going to put all your heart into. So that's my main advice to them. And my future plans, next year I plan to go to Hampton, Sydney and play football. And I'm really excited. I'm also going to major in communications. It's called rhetoric there, but I'm really excited. All right. So I'm going to go back to that video that I created for the basketball team. And this is how I'm going to end. All right. <laughs> all right guys um thank y'all for allowing me to speak to y'all for a couple minutes um i hope you enjoyed and i hope y'all are more interested in communication skills and um continue to practice and get better all right oh questions any questions Man. Yeah, I'm definitely going to um, make sure I focus on the sports because that's what I'm passionate about. So I'm going to go toward that way. And I hope to become a sports reporter or sports announcer one day. So that's the goal. Yeah. Love the uh, idea for a video announcement. Uh, taking any steps to make sure this continues after you. Yes, I've talked to several of the juniors in the class, and I've talked to them about continuing this process and getting people together next year when we and to continue it. And I've also talked to um, – um, Coach Walker and Dr. Sumner as well about um, continuing it through. And like right now we're starting with, we're going to aim for once a week for now because it's like a new thing. I hope to get it to the point where like next year stuff, they can do it like maybe twice a week or maybe every day a week. I know that would be difficult with people's like schedules and stuff like that. But I've definitely talked to some juniors and lower classmates about continuing this process. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Did not think about that at all, but you just put that in my head. I could definitely go talk to them. And um, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I would love that to become a class and become something that would help the legacy part. All right. All right, thank y'all. It's on my computer. <laughs>